But what, one of the things that's very important for you to understand is that when we first embarked on this uh, project, we were inspired by a local family from Wrexham. And that was the Maddox family, and they're here today. And it was those local families that really sort of inspired us to, to sort of try and make a big effort in ensuring that the angel did a job, the job that it was intended to do, that would inspire change and social change and to address violent behaviour, not, not just knife crime, but all sorts of violent behaviour. When we began, <clears throat> we'd seen a documentary, and the, do the documentary was about the police and how the police were getting on in reducing violent crime. They mentioned knife banks, amnesty bins, they were made of metal. We thought, gosh, we could maybe help with this. We made knife banks for all the police forces around the country. And the angel is made of 100,000 blades, as the mayor said, from every constabulary. The angel was only ever intended to go from Oswald Street to Trafalgar Square in London. There was never any imagination of it doing a national tour. Now you're on, we're on our 26th town or city, Wrexham is number 26, and there's probably that many again booked in. So the Angel will have travelled all four corners of the UK by the time it finishes touring, and it will have inspired an immense amount of educational efforts. And I'm very proud to say that it was made locally to yourselves and inspired by a family from Wrexham. Thank you very much for hosting. It now comes to me to the privilege of the afternoon, which is to declare the, the Life Angel open, and I will do that now by moving in the middle of the room. Right, was it? <laughs> <laughs> 